Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency William Ruto, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Mzee Kibaki, Outgoing President of Kenya, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Your Excellencies, First Ladies, Distinguished Heads of Delegations, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a great pleasure and an honor for me to be given this opportunity of moving a vote of thanks on behalf of the heads of state and government gathered here this afternoon. We thank Your Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta for hosting us at this wonderful inauguration luncheon. We also sincerely thank your immediate predecessor, His Excellency President Mwai Kibaki, for inviting us and for affording us this rare privilege of being witnesses to this historic and auspicious day for you and for the people of Kenya. Today, a new chapter has been written in the history of your great country. With you taking out of office, to be the fourth president of Kenya. At a very colorful and joyous ceremony we witnessed at the Kasarani Stadium this morning. By the way, I'm also the fourth president of Tanzania. <laughs> Mr. President, we sincerely congratulate you and His Excellency William Ruto, you are, you are running mate, and now the Deputy President of Kenya, on your momentous victory. For those of us who have been following the Kenyan elections from a distance, it was indeed a very closely contested election, and therefore a hard-fought victory. Your victory is a clear testimony of the trust and confidence that the people of Kenya have reposed upon you. We wish you well. We wish you every success. And we pray for God's blessings as we embark on the daunting but noble task of saving the people of Kenya, but more importantly, uniting them to work together for a peaceful and prosperous Kenya. Mr. President, Welcome, we welcome you to the Club of East African, African and World Leaders. We pledge our unqualified support and cooperation. We hope under your able leadership, Kenya will continue to effectively discharge her domestic, regional and international responsibilities as it has, done, it has, as it has always done. And you have been doing it so very well. Allow me, Your Excellency, and the Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, to pay special tribute to the immediate former President of Kenya, His Excellency Mwai Kibaki, for his sterling and exemplary leadership. Undoubtedly, his ten years in office have not been without challenges. There have been difficult moments, and some of them very difficult ones, like after the, election, uh, the, after the last elections. But working with Vice President Kaloso Musioka, Prime Minister Raila Odinga, in the Grand Coalition Government, he managed to steer the affairs of Kenya so very well. I'm sure the people of Kenya will always remember him fondly and cherish his invaluable contribution to peace and development of their great nation. We in East Africa will never forget him for the wonderful contribution he has made to advance the cause of East African cooperation and integration. The East African community is what it is today, a formidable regional economic grouping, thanks in many ways to his wise leadership. Mr. President, in a very special way, we salute and congratulate as well as commend the people of Kenya and leaders of all the political parties for the peaceful conduct of the elections and the post 
election period. Above all, we congratulate the people of Kenya for showing a great deal of political maturity. They have demonstrated in no uncertain terms that a nation and a people united by a sense of purpose and common spirit can achieve tremendous milestones within a short period of time. Five years since the last crisis, the last crisis, not a long time, but you have turned around the country incredibly. And this is a matter that you deserve compliments. But it is also a good lesson worth to be emulated by many nations and peoples throughout the East African region and throughout our dear continent. Mr. President, allow me to conclude by my remarks by once again congratulating you for assuming the highest office of the Kenyan land. We congratulate you on the rare opportunity of coming back to the State House of Kenya and live not as a son of the President of the Republic, but as the President. <laughs> we wish you every success in your new responsibilities. We look forward to working with you in our collective endeavor of making East Africa and the world a better place to live in. God bless Kenya. God bless Africa. Thank you for your kind attention. Asante Nisar.